welcome. We are going to be working on our abdominal muscles and stretching today. So let's start out on all fours, cat-cow pose. So inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Arch your back up towards the sky, look down towards the mat. Inhale, cow pose. Arch your back down, look forward. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Stretching out the back here. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Let's go ahead and take it up into our plank. Pedal it out here. And then lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga, all the way onto our bellies. And then inhale, cobra. Slight bend in the elbow, elbow or shoulders away from the ears, then flip our toes over, back down into downward dog. Pedal it out here, feel that nice stretch in the back of your legs. And then let's lift that right leg into three-legged dog. Let's do some ab work here, bring your right knee to your left elbow. And then back up into three-legged dog. And then lean forward, bring your right knee to your right elbow. And back into three-legged dog. And then knee to nose. And then back up into three-legged dog. And step all the way forward into our low lunge here. Lower your left knee, hands to heart. Hold it here for a second. And try to grab that left foot with your left hand. If you would like, you can try to stick it in your elbow and reach your hands back behind your head. I failed, so I did not do it. <laughs> All right, let's go into our runner stretch. So straighten that right leg and fold over it. Feel that nice stretch in the hamstring. And then let's go ahead and do our pigeon pose. So bend your right knee and put your leg in front of you. You can stay on your hands or you can lower down to your elbows. And go ahead and lift back up. Grab that left foot with your left hand. Maybe tuck it into your elbow and try to wrap your hands behind your head. This is a nice stretch for the left quadricep. And release. Let's go back up into our plank pose here. Lean forward, chaturanga. Let's go into our upward dog this time. So legs are off the mat, tops of the feet are on the mat. And flip toes over, back into our downward dog. Feel free to pedal it out a little bit more here. And left leg up into three-legged dog. Reach your left knee to right elbow. And back up into three-legged dog. Lean forward, left knee to left elbow. Back up into three-legged dog. And knee to nose. Back up into three-legged dog. And step all the way forward into our low lunge. Lower that right knee. Hands to heart. Hold for a second. Feel that nice stretch in the right hip flexor. And grab that right leg with your right hand. Feel that nice stretch in the quad. And release. Let's go ahead and straighten that left leg into our runner's stretch or half splits. Fold over, feel that stretch. And into our pigeon pose. So bend that left knee and put your leg out in front of you. You can stay on your hands or lower down to your elbows for a better stretch. 
And let's go ahead and grab that right foot, tuck it into our right elbow. You can try to link your hands behind your head. Nice stretch in the right quad. And release. Go ahead, back up into our plank pose. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga into upward dog. And flip our toes over, downward dog. Roll back over onto our plank. And let's go ahead down onto our forearms. We are going to transition to dolphin pose. So hips up and back, kind of like you're in downward dog, but on your forearms. Back down into our low plank. And exhale up into dolphin. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, low plank. Let's go ahead, back up into our high plank on our hands. Lower down into our knees. Go back into child's pose. That was a bit of work on the triceps. Let's stretch those out. And let's go up into our all fours. Swing your legs around into a seated position. Reach our hands up nice and tall and fold over into seated forward fold. You can grab your toes, your shins, or your knees, depending on where you're at here. Each exhale, try to go deeper into the stretch. And let's sit up straight again. Lay down one vertebrate at a time. And let's go ahead and straighten our legs out in front of us in a V. We are going to do 50 straight-legged crunches. So this really works on the lower belly. Exhale up, inhale down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember to keep your elbows nice and wide. Gaze up towards the ceiling or sky. 20. 25, halfway. 30. know you're getting tired here but keep it up this really gets those lower abs 40 10 more 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one nice job let's go ahead we're going to do 25 in and out so roll up onto your butt so this is just straightening our legs out in front of us and then bringing them back in i will be keeping my hands on the ground behind me 25 ready one two three four five ten I know your abs are getting tired, but keep with me. 15, 10 more. 5 more. 24 and 25. Nice job. Let's go ahead and go into a butterfly stretch. So feet together and let your knees fall to the ground.
All right, let's straighten our legs here. Bend your right knee and bring it over your left thigh, and let's take it in for a twist. So right hand behind you, left knee on right, or left elbow on right knee. You can go ahead and take a bind here if you would like. And let's go ahead and switch. Bend our left knee and place it over our right thigh. Right knee on right elbow on right on left knee. I'm really struggling with my left and right. And then left hand behind you. Look over your left shoulder. You can take it for a twist if you would like. You don't have to. Let's go ahead and do a seated forward fold again. So exhale. Try to get further than you did the first time. All right. Let's go ahead and go onto our knees. We're going to keep our toes on the ground and kind of lean onto our heels here. This really stretches the feet. We can take our hands for a twist here. Twist our right arm underneath our left. And then switch left arm under right. Feel that stretch in the arches of your feet. And let's go ahead back into our plank. We're gonna do 15 hip dips on our right side first. So exhale down for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Nice job. I know those are difficult back into our downward dog. Let's go ahead and walk our feet up towards our hands and take it for a wide-legged forward fold here. Let's go ahead and take it to the right side. Nice stretch in the lower back here. And take it over to our left side. And back to the center. Let's go ahead and take a twist. So left arm up towards the sky, right arm down. And switch. Right arm up towards the sky, left arm down. Really opening our heart here. And back down. Go ahead and rotate over, back up into our regular forward fold. And then inhale, rolling up one vertebrae at a time into standing mountain pose. And exhale, swan dive forward fold. Let's go ahead and step our feet back into plank. Left side hip dips now, 15. Ready, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and back into our downward dog. Nice job. And let's go ahead and lift our right foot up into three-legged dog. Lean forward, right knee to right elbow. Back up into three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow. Back up into three-legged dog. And knee to nose. Back up into three-legged dog. And regular downward dog. Three-legged dog with our left leg now. And then left knee to left elbow back up into three-legged dog, left knee to right elbow, back up into three-legged dog, and left knee to nose, back up into three-legged dog, and then step forward into our low lunge. Let's go ahead and twist that right foot to a 45 degree angle, lift up into warrior two. Couple breaths here. 
Let's lean forward and then lean back into extended warrior two. Right hand across our lower back. Then straighten that left leg and lower down into pyramid pose. You can touch the ground or keep your left hand on your shin. Look up towards the sky, right hand up. And go ahead and bend that left knee back down into our low lunge. And step back into our plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga into upward dog. And downward dog. Go ahead and walk our feet up to meet our hands in the middle of the mat. And let's take another forward fold here. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Let's go ahead and do some balance work. So go ahead and lift your right foot up, bring it to the side, and then place it on your left thigh as high as you can get it. Tree pose here. Take a few breaths, really get your balance. Lengthen. Release any tension. Make sure you stay tall on your left side. Don't dump into your left hip. Breathe. Appreciate. And release. Go ahead and bring our left foot up now, bend it, your knee, bring it to the side, and bring your left foot as high as you can on your right thigh now. Tree pose on the other side. Breathe, release any tension, stay tall on your right side. Smile, it feels good. And release. Swan dive, forward fold. And let's go ahead back into our plank. And hips up into downward dog. Lift your left leg up into three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow. And back up into three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow. Back up into three-legged dog. Knee to nose. Back up into three-legged dog. And regular downward dog. Right leg up into three-legged downward dog. Knee to nose. Back up into three-legged dog. Right knee to left elbow. Right leg up into three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow. Back up into three-legged dog. And step forward into your low lunge. Rotate that left foot. Bring it up into warrior two on the other side now. Breathe here. Look over your right hand. Lean forward and then lean all the way back for extended warrior two. Keep that leg bent. Try to go lower if you can. And then straighten that right leg. Rotate over into pyramid pose, left arm up towards the sky, gaze up past the left hand, right hand down on the ground or on your right shin. Breathe, feel the stretch, and bend that right knee back into our low lunge, back into our plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga, all the way down into our tummies this time, and inhale, cobra.
and exhale down into child's pose great work today everyone thank you so much for joining me for abs and stretches I hope you felt like this was a good workout namaste